guys, um, so this is entry number five, I think, um, and since last Tuesday, it has been, like, the craziest <laughs> week of my life, um, a lot of good crazy, uh, Wendy's Wish is official, which is awesome, um, I get the chance to go home this weekend and look through all the paperwork, which is going to be great, uh, still working on the website, and we're going to get that put up as soon as we can, so... Um, if you haven't already, go to the Facebook page and like us because that will be the first place that it is posted um, so that we can keep up with everything. And you guys have just been a blessing. It's been awesome to see all of you uh, sharing the video and the page continuously. I still have not been able to get on Facebook yet um, without seeing something about it from somebody, um, which is really awesome. It's just really encouraging. Uh, and so just thank you, all, you guys for that and for the people that have been um, calling or texting with just like random fundraiser ideas that we can do with it um, in the future to raise money. That's That's been awesome um, and it's been fun to just kind of check out and just see where we're going because we're in the beginning stages. We can really go anywhere with it. So if you have any ideas, get those to me. Um, but today just kind of has to go a little bit along with that. Um, I just want to share a couple um, passages with you. And one of them is Matthew 10, and we'll start in verse 28. It says, Do not be afraid of those who kill the body but cannot kill a soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? Yet not one of them will fall to the ground apart from the will of your father. And even the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Don't be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Um, and then also Hebrews 12.1. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. Um, and those are both just passages that, uh, I don't know, are awesome for me, because I can say um, a little over a year ago, I am definitely not where I thought I was going to be in college um, in my walk with God or what I'd be doing. Um, and all that kind of changed, and uh, I remember um, right after my mom passed away, but literally like the day of, I was um, standing in my driveway, and my older brother came up to me, um, which by the way, he's just awesome. Uh, he was so awesome at that time and getting us through that, but uh, he came up and stood by me, and he said something, because we had family in town, and he was like, well, in a few days, everything will start to get back to normal and all this stuff, and I was just like, he's crazy. I looked at him and I was like, nothing will ever be normal again. And uh, he used the words, well, this is your new normal. Um, which really sucks to hear um, that your new normal is going from having a mom to not having a mom within a matter of like no time at all. But so after he kind of said that, um, is crazy. If any of y'all know me, um, Hebrews 12, 1, the reason I share that passage is it's kind of close to me. I'm um, so close that it's on my left shoulder. And, uh, I got that in December while, um, my mom was sick, uh, New Year's Eve of 2010. And it's so crazy how true that's been in my life that just, uh, the run the race that's marked out for you. Um, our God just loves us so much. And, um, he really has had such an incredible plan marked out for me, and it's so cool to see it um, continually just be revealed to me and laid before me, and every day is just full of some sort of new surprise on what uh, he's going to be doing in my life, and I love it, and it's just so much fun to grow in that faith and um, just to learn this level of trust that I've never known before because um, being the president of a nonprofit at 19 is a little, it's a little sketchy. <laughs> it's just a little shaky for me at times. And, I mean, there's, there's really nothing I can do but give that to God um, and just let him reveal his plan to me every day. And he's, it's just awesome to see it unfold. And then the passage in Matthew, um, during my mom being sick, I was so scared. And, like, just that situation, you're so ununderstanding. I mean, there was the part of me that just knew the Bible that was like, you know, bad, you know, bad things happen to good and bad people. And also, who are we to judge what is good because we are all... Um, separate from the Lord and he is perfect and we are not and that 
for all intents and purposes, makes every person bad. Um, throw out your worldly view of morality and um, the crap that you're fed from the time you're young and so on. And um, knowing that, it was still just hard for me to be like, you know, why is this happening? And uh, I just find so much comfort in Matthew 10. And it's just, I mean, he, God created us and he just knows everything about us. And it's this incredible love that we can't understand. And um, the closest you can get to understanding it is being a parent. And even a parent can't even understand, which is just mind-blowing for me because I know how much my, my real dad or my earthly dad loves me. And um, to finally just sort of get the picture of how my my father loves me and my father in heaven is just, uh, it's incredible and it's comforting. And uh, it is just mind-blowing for me. And it's been mind-blowing this whole step of the way and just seeing everything unravel and uh, being at this point in my life and having all this happen and Wendy's wish finally being official which I just never thought would come and it's just so even surreal to think about now um, and I just you guys don't even know how excited I am to see the paperwork when I go home this weekend uh, I'll probably probably cry a little bit which is I mean that's cool but um, so yeah I just wanted to share that with you a little bit uh, just find comfort in that today that um, he has the hairs on your head numbered, guys, and he, he has a plan for you every day. And um, each morning it's just filled with new surprises from the Lord and how he's just going to reveal what he's doing in your life and just lay that out for you. So look forward to that when you wake up, um, that he has a race marked out for you too, and just set your eyes on God and follow it and just go full steam ahead with trust and don't question it because he's going to do great things in your life. And there might be some crazy bumps along the road, um, I would definitely say that losing my mom was a crazy bump, um, but God makes things happen for his good, and I can finally see that in my life, and it's awesome, um, and praise him for that, and it's weird to say that I'm praising God for taking my mom and just doing something incredible with it, but I mean, I really do, uh, not that I don't miss my mom every day, but our God is good, and you just have to trust him with those decisions, so... Uh, just find comfort in that today. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this and keep watching uh, the video that Davis Emmert did for me. It's awesome. He did a great job. But uh, just keep watching that and sharing it because it's blowing up, guys. It's uh, it's great to see. And to see even the ad adults share it is just really cool because obviously college students are all over Facebook and I'm a college student and it's so easy for me to reach them. But to reach the older crowd, it's uh, just great to see y'all getting involved because that's what it's going to take. So um, I just love you guys. Have a great day, and I'll see you later.